This morning, the new reality on inflation. Prices are still rising even higher than expected, up 8.2 percent last month compared to the same month last year, and up four-tenths of a percent from August, which is double what the experts predicted. We are paying more for just about everything. One bright spot has been gasoline, but even that now is trending higher again. Rent is up 7 percent, groceries 11 percent, and medical insurance up nearly 30 percent. All this means the Federal Reserve is almost certain to raise interest rates by another three quarters of a point next month, making credit card debt and loans more expensive. Mortgage rates already surging to their highest level in 20 years, now approaching 7 percent. One bright spot? jobs. The labor market still remains strong. Consumers appear to still be spending, although we are starting to change our spending habits. Americans are squeezed by the cost of living. It's been true for years and folks don't need to be a report to tell them they're being squeezed. President Biden speaking in California as the government announced a cost of living increase for Social Security recipients, 8.7 percent, the highest in 40 years, amounting to an extra $140 per month on average. Critics say the Biden administration's spending policies are the root of the inflation problem, but the president disagreeing. The biggest problem is the world's challenge, global inflation and the pandemic and Putin's unconscionable invasion of Ukraine. Here's the deal. Because of my economic plan, we are better positioned than any other major economy in the world to weather the challenges that come through this as a stronger country. Biden is also taking heat for the spike in gas prices. He's now promising to speak to Saudi Arabia about OPEC's recent decision to cut back on oil production. But he's not elaborating on any action he may take against the Saudis. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.